Lord Grablex Productions presents The Amplifier Adventure, Part 1 Pretty soon, I'm going to be building an amplifier. On Tuesday, I will be ordering some parts, and um, this may be what it's going to look like. It has, uh, it's going to have a power switch here, and all the functions are going to be done by push buttons. There's one here for um, phono or record player. There's one here for auxiliary input. There's also a tape monitor. And a button here might cancel, which will take it out of the tape monitoring mode. Because two tape decks can be connected, will be connected up to this. And it's also going to have a tape dubbing feature. And again, a cancel button to take it out of the tape dubbing mode. It's going to have a volume control here. As a later date, I may put in bass and treble controls, but I think that'll be pretty good for a first attempt at actually making one of these. I've been ripping some transistors out of um, some various circuit boards and now to try to find some ones that I could use in a power supply. This one here is the only one that's um, actually useful because these other two appear to be PNP. As I looked them up, and yes, they, these two here are PNP, and the only NPN one I have that's, uh, that can handle power is this one. So I'm going to order some 2N3055 transistors for the power supply, nice powerful transistors. And a computer here, well we would be able to see the computer, except I cannot seem to get this, um, trying to use picture in picture on my TV so I can have the camera and the computer on the, on the screen at once but it doesn't seem to want to let me do that it only wants me it's only going to select the um, high definition sources so that's pretty much out and I cannot get this back to normal I hate this TV it's so bloody awkward to use right okay there's the computer um, you know, just um Remote's just gone kamikaze. It's done a lemming. Anyway, uh, I got the schematics here of some power amplifiers I could build. Now, Dr. Cassette says I could use um, chips, but I'd rather use discrete components. This is a, just a basic power amplifier design. We'll go to the next one. Here you can see we have one with two transistors. You can see one is NPN and one is PNP. Now this is um, much better design, gives much better amplification, but there's a little bit of a distortion with that one, so I'm not gonna. I'm going to build that and uh, just out of curiosity to see what kind of sound quality it gives. And this is what I'm going to do to it when I actually build it for real with those two diodes there which help bias the transistors better now that should give me a good enough sound but if it doesn't I'll build this which has a, um, an additional transistor right there Q3 which is the ideal way to bias it but I think this design will work pretty much okay I don't know how well you can hear me because uh, I've got this fan on here because it is absolutely boiling in here and I've got these two fans here keeping the computer cool and uh, got some old tape decks out here which I never use I'm going to use them for the connectors let's just put the camera's light on might be able to see it better so it's some nice connectors there and there's another one in there. It's got plenty of connectors so I won't have to buy any of those. It's just another circuit board I might rip some parts out of. What a piece of crap. My name is Scott and I'm a tape recorder. Shut up, nobody's supposed to know that we're able to talk for ourselves. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot that. I better shut up then. I will blink you to death with my super bright LED as um, 
Things are getting really, really weird here. Okay, that's enough falling around.